What's going on guys? Let me start this video with a question. Are you a huge sports fan and do you like going to sports games? Well today you're in luck because I have a promo code for SeatGeek which is a ticket sharing app that rates each ticket deal you might come across on a scale of 0 to 10 with 0 being the worst and 10 being the best. Scores more towards 0 show up in red while scores more towards 10 show up in green. My promo code to get $20 off on SeatGeek is Obersports. You use that code, you get $20 off on any single purchase you want on SeatGeek. With that being said, let's get to the video. <laughs> Finally! At long last. Oh. At long last, the Brewers put together a game where they had offense, starting pitching, and bullpen all do good in the same game. It's been so long. I, can't, I cannot remember the last time we saw the Brewers have a game this good. This was, this, this game felt like all of the frustration of the last month or so just poured out. The pitching was dominant. The offense was dominant. Everything was working for the Brewers. And this is the kind of game you don't see too often, of course. And, of course, I'm not asking for them to beat every team 13-1. to But this is a really big step in the right direction. And hopefully this lights another fire under the Brewers. You know, I was talking about a few days ago about Ben Gamble's walk-off, maybe lighting a fire. Um, with the, last, the next two games, didn't really seem... Like it lit much of a fire, but this game, it felt like all of the frustrations of the past month just spilled out into this game. Everybody seemed to contribute. Everyone had a good game. Woodruff was electric. Bullpen was electric. I'm really, really liking Jay Jackson, by the way. I hope that the Brewers hold on to him for bullpen help because he could be an innings, an innings eater for sure. I really like his stuff. And uh, down in AAA, I think he had a 1.01 ERA. So um, I'd love to see what he does uh, in the big leagues in an extended stay and maybe even we could consider losing him high leverage if he continues to keep it up who knows but um yeah I, I was really 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 pleased with the Brewers tonight I was really pleased with everything that they did and how about Keston Hira too that guy can hit that man can hit the baseball that dude is a professional hitter I, I'm so excited to see how his career goes I mean I, I legit think you know he's gonna be a, a perennial 300 hitter you know he might not have the best defense in the world but I mean it's good enough to keep him in the lineup and I mean the power to the opposite field the just the sheer hitting a raw hitting ability that this guy has it's awesome um and Christian Yelich too you know something about this year the Brewers have not hit a grand slam until tonight and I've been waiting for it for a long time it's always been something that I've kind of thought about like every time we have the bases loaded like even when we drive in runs in that period when we have the bases loaded it's like I'm always thinking in the back of my mind like if we haven't hit a grand slam yet this year have we but tonight Yelich finally put the Brewers on the board in that department he lined a grand slam out to right uh over the wall into the bullpen um I mean the guy is a the guy is phenomenal you know and he's a really clutch hitter um and I'm just so glad that they finally got that over that hump too because you know I don't know I feel like every single year the Brewers always like have to wait until like the middle of the summer before they get their first grand slam so it was nice to see uh them finally get it by way of Yelich who uh, once again, puts himself at the forefront of the MVP conversation. Also had a really, really nice uh, stolen base, I guess you could say. Uh, he stole home uh, on a wild pitch, I believe. It was a, a play that you wouldn't expect him to make, but at the same time, you know, it was really, really good instinctive base running. He was off right as soon as he saw the ball, uh, and he was able to avoid the tag and get home. Um, and that was a decisive run in the game, I think. I think that was kind of the run that, like, because up to that point, you know, the Brewers had, uh, they were up 3-1. They had just given up a solo home run the uh, inning before. And things were looking good, but there was a little bit of an uneasy feeling. So him stealing that base, I think, kind of swung everything in the Brewers' favor, you know. Uh, it was like, all right, we, we, I think we got this game now after I saw him steal that or uh, get home on the wild pitch. But, um, yeah, anyways, guys. Those are my thoughts on the game tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Obersports41512 and on Instagram, username Jacob underscore Ober. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and do not forget to use code OBERSPORTS on SeatGeek. You get $20 off of your next purchase. See you guys next time. Go crew.